a lot of you are not happy because you don't like minding your business. I thought I was recording. I wasn't recording. I don't think I can take it changing the format of this series because to be very honest this school thing is not a joke anymore and i won't have time unless i make time because some days i'm like i'm going to record on this day and then i can't because of schoolwork and um i have to push the video to like another time so i won't have time unless i make time instead of having me just sit down and talk to you guys we're going to be moving around so trust me trust me you're going to like it you're going to enjoy it. just trust me so without wasting any time let's begin <laughs> I did this bun in one go and as an achievement. I didn't have to stress. Come on. Today felt so long. Something about ending classes by five is it just sound it just feels so criminal. And again, I'd feel guilty because my classes didn't start until three. I left my room by one. Because I attended this program, it was about um, developing our LinkedIn profiles. And this lady, her name is Halma. Wait, I can't. Let me. Let me. Her name is Halma Wogu, and hopefully, I'm not butchering her name. She is a prominent figure on LinkedIn. So she was basically giving us tips on how to develop our personal profiles and basically just tips on how to be more valuable a single day that passes where i don't learn something and today i learned how to respect my value certain attributes that a human being possesses that helps them contribute to the society that they're in and how they play their role in their community or your family and i basically just learned from her and she really taught every single one of us that were present in the room how to respect our value, how to like polish up our areas of expertise. I actually have no idea how I slept for this long. I don't know, maybe it's because I was tired and I was hungry. Because I mean, after I finished eating, I, I, I was knocked out. And now it's like it's currently nine something. I don't I don't even want to this. Imagine if I slept because I'm actually very lucky today because I don't have classes on this day. But imagine if it was a Tuesday when I had when I have a nine a.m. And it's just no. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> to say it yesterday how my work was talking about respecting our values and she used the diamond illustration she mentioned how she was talking to god and she kept on asking him what is my purpose basically just basically asking god about her purpose and then he asked her this question what makes diamonds so valuable and she took some time and she pondered on the question and then she was like oh their carrots and you know carrots have to do with weight and everything and everyone knows that if you're buying a diamond and when you look at the price and you see how expensive it is obviously because of it weighs so much it weighs a ton but since then she's been investing in herself and going through personal development and doing things that basically made her more valuable being valuable being valued is one thing respecting your value is another thing and it just made me think like oh I shouldn't have to compromise my standards so people can feel more comfortable around me. I feel like everyone should respect the heights on which they stand and nobody should make another person compromise the way they do their things just so they can feel more comfortable. I'm not going to make myself, I'm not going to bring myself lower so that she can be 
more comfortable around me because it's my life and I'm admitting it in my space so I can't be uncomfortable in my own space it's like do what makes you happy do what makes you live and then she was talking about like being overly serious on the platforms that you're on and then I sort of like I don't know I could sort of relate because obviously when you want to do a, something you want to be intentional with it you want to be like so serious but then when you're too serious it sort of like takes the fun out of it because I feel like you would have more fun if you would just relax when you're doing something like calm down like let's not be over serious like you you have this like you can do it you know basically be calming down because i feel like you would achieve more res i feel like you achieve more results in certain spaces when you're much more level-headed more than when you're hot headed and you're you know like all over the place like you tend to achieve more results when you're level headed this group assignment that i have to go out to coordinate because from the way things are looking god is my strength i just got back from my group project and it worked out faster than i expected one thing that i'm learning and i want to implement more is tolerating people because if there's one thing the school has taught me is learning to tolerate people and sometimes you'll be like what's in the rubbish such nonsense <laughs> setting where you're going to have to constantly deal with people like blocking is not really advisable like you, it's not, you can't like it's not like you're on your phone and you can just if someone pisses you off you're like blocked i feel like just learning to tolerate people is important because you can't really get rid of most people especially when you're in school I feel like tolerance is just very important. Tolerance is key. Tolerance and patience is key. Now, I'm not telling you to go and be enduring nonsense in the name of, oh, Sheila said that it's important to tolerate people. Don't go and be tolerating people's rubbish, show, please. Don't be tolerating their rubbish. Don't be not tolerating per se, but enduring their rubbish. If you can speak up about it, kindly speak up about it. Don't endure nonsense. I feel like Goldilocks. <laughs> and so I feel like this video is, what's the word? Disjointed. Like, there's no harmony, but then again, it could actually just be me because when I edit it, it's going to look just fine. So, please tell me why it's January and we're still feeling Hamatan because, like, it's so misty, like, it's January so misty. So, today I'm mostly just trying to finish up any outstanding assignment, mostly just polishing them up before I finally submit. I'm trying my best to procrastinate less and do more. And it's not like I procrastinate on purpose. It's just I'm sort of like a forgetful person. So, and I'm not, I don't wait until the like dying minutes to do something. If I have to do something, I will do it. That's the thing. But it's like I'm very forgetful. It's like oh, I'm like okay, I'm going to do it right now. Then something else comes up, and I attend to that thing before I remember that oh, I had something I initially wanted to do, but now I can't remember. <laughs> so i finished reading so that's it the time is not i don't want to tell you i feel very ashamed of myself because my sleeping schedule has been so messed up and i said i was going to work on it but it's like oh, i'm genuinely working and nothing is changing so now it's like sometimes i literally just can't sleep but i decided to just come to bed for me so like anytime sleep comes i'll be here waiting for you judge me because if i'm using the course by this time i left my car next time and i haven't had the time to like look for actual good lip balm because i don't think they i feel like i'm shading this place i don't feel like they sell any like lip balm i would genuinely like here so i'm stuck with my lip gloss it's not like i don't like it it's okay but i feel like lip balm would do job better than so yeah i decided to come to bed at least because i actually want to be happy tomorrow 
I'm the kind of person that if I do not sleep well, I'm going to be grumpy and I can't so it's just if I don't sleep well I'm going to be grumpy. But it's like I can't sleep. So what do I do? I would say I want to read, but it's not like I would actually learn anything because I'm just reading so that I can't sleep and nothing is def nothing is going to enter so um <clears throat> I don't know. How do I finish up that Bible plan I started on my new version app? <sighs> I don't know man. Anyways, good night. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So, yeah, last night I slept by, no, not last night, I actually slept by one in the morning. And she, so you see why I was ashamed of myself? Because why should a student be sleeping by one in the morning? Like, I need the energy, and then I'm sleeping by one in the morning. Anyways, so now I think I have a habit of leaving bottles around because why is there a bottle there? Why is there a bottle there? What lip combo are we doing today? What lip combo are we doing? And because tell me, isn't it too early for this noise? Isn't it too early for this sort of noise? Because what is this? I actually have two purses that I use for anything. Lips. This is... Okay, I take this one to school. Oh, it matches my nails. Like, I take this one to school. And this one is just for extra stuff that can't fit here. So, I have more stuff in here. But seeing as I look like a cookie right now, or coffee rather, I think we should do a nude shade. We should do a nude lip comb. One thing about me is that I don't like black lip liner, but these days I use it more because I feel like when I use the brown, the when I use brown, like the color shows, but I feel like black just helps it like blend out even more, like it pops even more. So yes, these are the colors we're going with. This lipstick is probably sponsored by my mother's makeup purse. And of course, gloss. One thing about me is I'm always going to have gloss on. Except on Tuesdays. I don't know why I hardly ever wear gloss on Tuesdays. I really don't know why. But I mostly, I'm always wearing gloss. I always have gloss on. I believe I can do anything I want. I can achieve anything I want. I am bound by nothing but free. I am nothing but free. But like when you have that mindset, a lot of things tend to come to you. Because for the longest time, at least as long as I can remember, I feel like I have like this limiting mindset. I feel like I have to look a certain way or have certain things just so I can achieve certain heights. But the truth is that is not true. You can literally do anything you want. You really can. I was listening to a sermon. Well, I joined the miracle service online by Apostle Joshua Salman. I don't know if. I don't know if any of you. There's no way. If you don't, I don't, I don't think anyone would not know. Anyone who's anyone wouldn't. I don't know who wouldn't. I don't know who wouldn't know Apostle Joshua Summer. Like, come on. Like, come on. Anyway, so it's like he highlighted how some people do you don't some of some people don't need healing. You actually just lack understanding and your mindset. Like you have a variable, very variable. Oh yeah now. You have a very terrible mindset. So therefore you cannot achieve anything you want to achieve. And I was like, damn. Then again, can you like really blame? You can you like blame most? Oh, kind of. But it, I always find it so weird how something you're in charge of tends to control you. Talking about the mind right now, it's actually so crazy. Like, imagine. 
I feel like I talk a lot. I talk a lot, but it's like most of the time I'm not even saying I'm saying one thing, then the next I'm saying another thing. I just talk a lot. I genuinely just talk a lot. I don't think I'm ever going to stop. <laughs> I just talk a lot, and I don't think I'm ever going to stop that for anyone. I actually haven't used this before. I hope this works. Let me let me do this off camera. I hope this works. Yeah, you work. It worked. I was genuinely so worried. I hate whenever I mess up a lip comma, then I have to do it twice. It's you see how well gloss holds everything together. Come on, come on, come on. If you ever catch me outside without gloss, something is wrong back there. Minus Tuesdays, minus Tuesdays. If you ever catch me outside without gloss, something is wrong. So come on, come on. Say you don't understand the way I feel. No, you cannot explain to me what's real. school i like this ice cream but this isn't like my favorite flavor i prefer the plain chocolate i think this one has nuts i hate i don't i don't like nuts with chocolates unless it's cadbury chocolate then i like it but i mean this one actually does taste nice maybe i will excuse it so yeah i just got back from school my lip gloss has disappeared but anyways we didn't even do we didn't really like have class class like that we mostly just did revision his exams are on the way. I actually can't believe I'm actually writing exams here. And this is actually happening. This is actually for real. Nothing God cannot handle. Anyway, so we mostly just revised and just finalizing stuff for group presentations and all of that. I can't even eat to save my life. decided to come on here because I think the last time I spoke here was the day before yesterday. I wanted to film yesterday but I was fe I wasn't I was so tired. I was really so tired and my stomach was hurting. So I decided to take a break. One of the things I'm learning and currently still adjusting to is be more comfortable in my own skin. Like before I wouldn't be able to like sit out comfortably with my hair out like this actually because I had relaxed hair before. I always wanted natural hair but my hair type already like already being relaxed was quite stubborn. So I decided I was like okay let me just leave it. Let me just leave my hair relaxed. And then I just I think I made up my mind. I was like I'm going to I'm going to transition to natural hair and I've loved the journey ever since. Like, for the longest time, I always felt very uncomfortable in my own skin. I really don't know why I am talking about this right now, but anyways. So, I don't know. I just, you know, when 
it's like okay you're conscious of the fact that you have this body but i don't know like i never really felt comfortable like i always felt so i don't know if there's a word like disarranged but I, that's just how i felt for the as for, I think for the longest time as, let's not start rapping for as long as i can remember for some like i would always feel very uncomfortable i think i started being more co- i maybe came with, with the issue of not like being self-aware like i wasn't self-aware and i wasn't really conscious of the sort of person i was so i wasn't really that comfortable being myself before i forget myself the main reason why i came on here was to actually finish what i started because this is part two of 24 things i've been implementing in 2024 and i actually wrote a couple of things down so that i don't lose my trail of thoughts i tend to do that a lot and one of them was on um, being more comfortable in my own skin like I already explained before, I never really felt comfortable in my own skin. It came as the mostly just because I wasn't self-aware, I wasn't conscious of the kind of person I was. So sometimes I felt like a sponge. I was constantly absorbing different. I won't say like ha- I will say okay, maybe habits and characters from people unconsciously i wasn't aware i was doing that because i wasn't even aware of like myself basically and another one is to stop downplaying myself and to anyone else out there if you know your value you shouldn't be afraid to put it out there like you shouldn't be afraid of how people are going to react when you tell them certain things like if you know yourself you shouldn't be afraid you shouldn't be afraid to just show yourself basically just because you worry about what someone else is going to say and how they're going to take it how they're going to react if you don't react the way you expect or want to that's perfectly fine they can leave not everyone has to stay i have genuinely been avoiding making videos that are so long but from the, from the way things are looking i feel like this might be a 20 or 21 minute video <laughs> did i tell you another thing that i love to do it's not even something that i implement it's something that i actively do minding my business i love minding my business so much you know why a lot of you are not happy because you don't like minding your business you carry the weight of other people's problems on your shoulders who sent you a message i love minding my business so much when you mind your business like privacy is peace okay and when you mind your business that's basically peace <laughs> some of you try for real you really do yeah i think this is all i have to say for tonight because right now i'm actually hungry so i will speak to you guys tomorrow any details on the hair and the color and all of that just leave a comment I just realize i still have four more things i have to say so i think the first one would be to have more fun and stress less like stop overthinking there is still a bottle there anyways let's not be distracted so like some days like i catch myself being a bit bolder than i would normally be because i don't know like when you're someone that overthinks a lot it's like i feel like it just became like this sort of covering for me so it's like oh if i didn't have anything to do i would start overthinking do you know how jobless that's that's actually really really bad i'm so happy i've stopped it because sometimes like oh certain moments where like i would think back i'm like oh myself back then me back then would be so scared but it's like now i'm more confident to do certain things the second would be learning how to take breaks when i'm meant to take breaks because i always have this urge to be constantly productive and it's very toxic so it's like when i'm not doing anything i look for things to do when i should be resting like i shouldn't be afraid of resting i shouldn't be afraid to just take a break so that's the second thing that i'm working on the third thing is not necessarily like a mindset or action or anything but it's like reading more of books apart from like 
books for exams and tests and all of that like i want to read more books it's been a while so i've actually sat down and read a good book or maybe i'm the one that's not looking and the last one is having an open mind like i remember i don't know maybe this it may sound childish but i don't really care um because i when i was younger i loved the is it avatar the last airbender i don't know how to have it properly i don't know how it's arranged properly but those of you that watched avatar and to some extent i could resonate with zuko zuko's character a lot because of he was mostly fueled by anger and i don't know who was it i was talking to him about having a, yeah his uncle was talking about his his uncle was talking to him about having an open mind to things and and he i well, i can't really remember exactly what he said but it had to do with when you have your mind open you get to experience a lot of things and it's like you as you sort of like worry less because of your op open to new experiences and all of that and i found that really cool and i'm just remembering it now and i'm happy i remembered it now so that's the last thing that i will be implementing so this video has finally come to an end i hope you all enjoyed it i feel like it was much more act it was more active than i actually wanted it to be but i actually liked moving around i don't know something about just sitting down in one place just doesn't sit right with me but yeah that's all i love all of you that support me mm -hmm. bye